So the benefits of the cloud versus uh, traditional on-premise solutions, uh, it's, it's quite simple. Um, if you think about your parking facility, and the way the legacy providers do it is they, they sell you infrastructure that you put inside a parking facility. So that means that there's a server, that means that that server has to be running operating system, antivirus, and a bunch of other things, right? And you have to have somebody in your staff take ownership of that and manage that for you in order for your revenue control and your access control to work efficiently. So that's how on-premise works. We've done it for many, many years. It's 2017 now, uh, things have changed. The majority of things are moving to the cloud. And on the cloud, you've got tremendous benefits. So benefit number one, the maintenance, the upgrade, the upkeeping of that, it's no longer your responsibility. Your vendor now is responsible for that. So they're gonna have to deal with that and remove that from you. The other thing is that they have engineers that are experts at that and the, and the high availability and the redundancy of that platform is going to be done on your behalf. So with the cloud, it expands whenever you're doing lots of transactions. So there's this thing called a load balancer. So when I add different instances, then I put a load balance on the bottom. It enables me to continue to grow and enables me to patch the system without any downtime because I can bring one instance down and then I can patch it and bring the instance back up and you don't lose a beat. If we had to do that on on-premise and you had to patch your operating system, you're gonna have a ton of downtime. You're gonna have to bring it down, download Microsoft updates or whatever it is, and that's gonna take a significant amount of time. So who's using the cloud today? You're using it every day. You probably have a Facebook account. You're sharing pictures with your daughters and, and, and sons and, and whatever. Facebook runs 100% on the cloud. When was the last time that was down? Uh, other things like QuickBooks Online, right? Before you used to buy QuickBooks, you installed it on your computer and you had to back it up yourself or, and so on. Now those things are, are, you know, you don't have to do that anymore. Now you, you log into a website, just like you're sending an email and you do all your QuickBooks transactions through there. So QuickBooks Online is a great example of things that run on the cloud. Um, also think about it like Blockbuster is the equivalent of legacy, uh, on-premise infrastructure. And Netflix is on the cloud. You go to your website and you watch your movie. So that is the main difference. Also when you think about PCI compliance, um, the burden of, of dealing with all the things you have to do, it's no longer your responsibility. The vendor has to deal with that. So, you know, um, if one thing that you need to think about is the, the, the world is moving to the cloud because it simplifies your life. So at the end of the day, that's what I want you to remember is you want to go deal with your parking issues. You don't want to deal with keeping the system up. So this is why we, 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 we run on the cloud and we recommend uh, for you to deploy systems on the cloud.